Hello. In this lecture, I am explaining a problem related to the equilibrium conditions. There are two conditions for equilibrium. One is the sum of the all of the forces acting on the body should be zero to have a particle in translational equilibrium. The second condition for equilibrium is sum of all the torque acting in the system should be zero. Okay. So, repeating these two conditions, we have sum of all the forces should be zero and the sum of all the torques is not a force. Second one is torque, tau, should be zero. So, these are two conditions of equilibrium. We will be executing these two conditions in this problem. So, look at here. Two people are carrying a uniform wooden board that is 3 meter long and weighs 160 newton. If one person applies an upward force equal to 60 newton at one end, at what point does the other person lift? So let me uh, make a pre body diagram. So this is a 3 meter long board. And one person is lifting from here and the weight of this one is acting through the center of mesh, right? We can say here is the 60, 160 Newton. So weight of this one board is 160 Newton. And if one person applies upward force equal to 60 Newton. So this person, for example, this is force F1. Uh, F1 is equal to 60 Newton, okay, at one end. At what point does the other person lift this wooden, wooden board? Because, because of the weight, if one person is holding right here of lifting this board, uh, this wooden board will rotate about the axis right here. So that's why it will rotate, try to rotate this one to make a balance. What is needed is to apply certain force that we can say F2 right here. So this is free body diagram. This force, this force which is the weight because of weight will be acting downward. Okay, so this is a free body diagram of the system. So question is asking how far from this point should this second guy apply the force? Suppose that this is distance x, we have to find dx. Okay. So what else is given in the problem? One is the weight, another is the force one applied by one person at one end of this wooden board. Uh, now our first goal is to check whether first condition of equilibrium is true. So summation of y because uh, forces are acting in y-axis, right? y-axis. So we can say all the forces in y-axis. So what are the forces? F1 acting upward, which is positive, and then W acting downward, which is negative, and F2, look at here, acting upward. So this one is equal to zero. From here, F1 and W are given. We just have to calculate F2. F2 is equal to W minus F1. If you put all the values here, W is 160 Newton minus 60 Newton. This gives you 100 Newton. That is the force needed to balance this wooden board to apply in this direction okay so now our goal is to find how far he should the other person should apply this force from this 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 point right so to find that we have to apply second condition of equilibrium to apply the second condition of equilibrium uh, so total torque should be zero okay so what is torque here? If you consider the point of rotation right here, the torque produced by this force will be 
downward which is the in clockwise right this this uh, weight is trying to rotate this wooden board in this direction which is clockwise that is negative so i can write down negative w multiplied by r let's say weight is this distance is r because center of mass is you know weight is acting through this center of uh, mass or center of gravity this is the uniform board so uh, this distance r will be 1.5 okay because total length of this wooden board is 3 meter half of this one is 1.5 meter okay later on we will insert a value right now just write down like r plus so this one the force you have to this is trying to apply anti-clockwise torque that's why we can say this is positive and the force you have to how far it is from this one because you know torque t is equal to r the distance multiplied by force isn't it so we can apply this one and equal to zero so our goal is to find the x so i can write down like f2x equal to wr or x equal to wr divided by f2 now we have value of w which is 160 160 divided by f2 we have here and r is 1.5 if I calculate all these values, put in calculator, uh, this is cancelled. This one give you this much, okay? So x is equal to 1.6 multiplied by 1.5. Uh, this will give me x equal to 2.40 meter, okay? So this is the distance at which second person should have to apply force to balance. Uh, this wooden board the other person lifts with a force of 100 newton in other word we can say the other person should off lift with a force of 100 newton this f2 should be 100 newton and the distance this distance that we call x here should be 2.5 2.4 okay so this is the distance 2.40 meter okay so to solve the problem like this in which equilibrium conditions are satisfied we can apply these two equilibrium conditions the first condition sum of all the forces equal to zero and the second condition sum of all the talks should be zero by using these approaches you can solve this kind of problems so our final answer is this one.